For the two years that I've been working here, we had at least eight cases of animals that came with fishing artifacts in or around them. Basically what we had to do was do a health assessment of the animal, check that everything was okay, and after that remove the net that was around that neck and uh, treat the wound. He did great, so we released him today, weighing 65 kilos, which is a very nice weight for an animal that is two or three years old. We are originally uh, rack divers. In the North Sea here, we dive specifically on racks. We dedicate our dives completely to clean up. We don't have to make a lot of effort to find the net. It's always there. Most of the life we find is dead. Coast fishing is actually an invisible problem. You walk along the beach, people see a nice sea. What they don't see is what is beneath. And that's what we try to show the people. The Global Ghost Gear Initiative is a global initiative bringing players together from all around the world. Oceans have no borders, so what happens in Indonesia ultimately might affect people in Europe or elsewhere in the world. In 2015 we started off with this idea that the Global Ghost Gear Initiative as a concept could tackle the problem of ghost gear worldwide. Humans have a very big impact in, uh, in nature and in the sea. We don't realize how big this can be because we don't see further than the surface of the water and we have all these nets under the water floating. But it's not just a problem from an animal welfare point of view, but also from a food security point of view, actually looking at people's livelihoods that are dependent on the ocean. All communities, municipality, the government is making a lot of effort to clean the dunes, the beach, the highway, the streets. Everything is cleaned, but not the sea. When we started our cooperation with fisheries, we realized very quickly that fishermen also had to pay to get rid of their old nets. For us, that was a chance to help them and the environment. So we started to collect those nets for free and we recycle them into new products. The Dolphin Swim Club is a non-profit organization dedicated to bringing dolphins and people together through virtual reality. Our newest development is the production of Waterproof VR, which we have in a prototype right now. Our skin is, is one of our biggest organs, so if you incorporate that in virtual reality, you're really in mirrors. You can be in real water with virtual dolphins. We are making a consumer version out of recycled ghost nets to inspire people and create awareness about this huge problem. To see an idea or concept in action three years on, making a difference for our animals in the ocean, that's kind of the key achievement and what makes me excited every day. <laughs> you bring them back to the wild and this, this feeling of letting go, it's, oh my God, that's, the final accomplishment of my job. I think as humans we have the responsibility to treat them and to free them from those nets because it's not their fault that the net was there, it's ours. If we are the problem, then go for it and help it.